I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about Game 61 of the regular season. Astros win 8-3 to over the Boston Red Sox. They are now 5-1 and one against Boston on the air, which is pretty darn impressive because Boston is one of the better teams in the American League. So that is pretty darn good for the Astros. Uh, big win here. Jake Odorizzi's first win on the Ledger Forum as an Astro. The second game we've won with him uh, on the mound, but the first one was uh, the game where he pitched one out and then Kent Emanuel came in and said, all right, I will take the game from here. So that's sort of an unfair, you know, thing. I'm kind of happy because I heard that today, and I'm like, that's kind of sad. I, would, I, I was very happy to see Jake Odorizzi get the win tonight. Uh, hopefully the first of quite a few this year. Uh, briefly, I want to say before I get into it, uh, Jake Odorizzi being the fifth pitcher, this is fine. Like, five innings, three runs. If he's just keeping us competitive in the game as the fifth guy in the rotation, that's great. Like, that's all I can ask for. Anyway. Uh, aside from that, some other little bit of news. It is Yuli Gurriel's birthday today, which is why these are uh, on from the very start of the video, because it's Yuli's birthday bash for tonight, which uh, he's got to be like, what, 60 now? Man, he is fantastic. Yuli actually is uh, pretty much second in every American League statistic among first basemen. War, uh, WRC+, plus, batting average, on base, pretty much everything. He is second. So he's another guy that could be an all-star. Realistically, as reserves, I don't think any of them are good enough to crack the first spot. But realistically, the entirety of the Astros infield could be the reserve for the All-Star game. They won't be because, you know, Astros, bang, bang, buzz, buzz. But they realistically could be. Wow, I've just rambled for like a solid two minutes about nothing. Actually, on to the game, right? On the first, uh, Bregman would double and Jordan would single. But he singled too good. 115 off the bat, right to the outfielder, and he just makes a real casual throw home because it was a rocket. That was the hardest hit ball tonight at 115.2, I believe, off the bat. It was a rocket. In the bottom half of the first, Boston would score a pair on a sack fly and a single to make it a 2-0 ball game, and at that point, I started to get a little nervous. Now, after that point, Jake Odorizzi was fantastic. Uh, I believe him and Javier retired 25 of the last 27, so they were fantastic after that first inning from the pitching staff, so that's fantastic. And in the second, the Astros would get a run back. Yuli would say, strike out looking, Brantley would ground out, Tucker would then double, and Straw would double to make it a 2-1 ball game, and then after that, Stubbs would pop out. Stubbs had a bad day, which really just breaks my heart. I don't want anyone to succeed as badly as I want Stubbs to. Like, I really like Garrett Stubbs. I don't know why I've, uh, like, why I like him so much, but he is a player on this roster that I really want to see do well. Uh, in the third, Jose Altuve would lead it off with a home run. I believe that is his sixth leadoff home run of the year. His 10th overall, 388 feet. A real nice shot for Jose Altuve uh, to get it out of the park. That made it a tie game. After that, Correa would walk. Bregman would ground out. Jordan would double to make it a 3-2 ball game. In favor of the Astros, Yuli on his birthday would double to make it a 4-2 ball game. Brantley would single to make it a 5-2 ball game. And then, sadly, Tucker and Straw would both strike out looking. In the fourth, Bogarts would homer, which would be the last base runner that Odorizzi allowed after the first inning, which is pretty darn good. Uh, that made a 5-3. In the sixth, uh, Christian Javier came in to relieve Jake Odorizzi. Christian Javier is that long guy in the bullpen. I love that. I really get excited about that. He had five really good, or four really good innings tonight. I think only one hit allowed and three strikeouts, so that was fantastic out of him. And again, Odorizzi had a pretty decent night uh, as the fifth starter. That's really what you're asking for. In the seventh, uh, Yuli would round out to start. Brantley would single. Tucker would double. And Straw would get a sack fly to make it a 6-3 ball game. And sadly, again, Stubbs would ground out. In the eighth, the Astros would tackle on their final two. Altuve would strike out, I believe, swinging on that one. Correa would single. And Bregman with a bomb, 8-3. to three. Really excited to see the fan who caught it. It was an Astros fan, which is always nice in enemy territory. That made it an 8-3 ball game. Jordan would ground out. Yuli and Brantley would single. Tucker would walk to load it, but Straw, sadly, would fly out to end the 8th. And that was it for the scoring. A pretty relatively quiet ninth inning for both teams, and the Astros get a very, very nice 8-3 win over the Red Sox, which is really just fantastic tonight. Before we get into the pitching lines, I wanted to briefly say McCullers will be making a rehab start tomorrow in Fresno. Or not Fresno. Gosh, Fresno was like four years ago. It was, wow, I'm living in the past, man. He's going to make his start in Sugarland tomorrow. I swear I know things. Fresno, I'm living in the past. Uh, so that'll be good. Hopefully he'll be back soon-ish. We'd like to see him back before my birthday. That'd be nice. 
Anyway, pitching lines for tonight are pretty easy. Ha- or Odorizzi, five innings of work, three hits, three runs, one walk, six strikeouts, the one home run. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the start from Jake Odorizzi. Again, what you really want from a guy like that as the fifth starter is just to keep the team in the game. If, like, the, this is fine. This is fine. I'm more than happy with this now that a lot of the rotation is back. And once McCullers gets back, great. Uh, Christian Javier, four innings of work, one hit, no runs, no walks, and three strikeouts. Fantastic from Christian Javier. He was very good as a starter, but now, man, oh, man, as a long guy in the bullpen, chef's kiss. He is fantastic. Final thoughts. I've already said a lot about uh, Odorizzi, but again, pretty decent start out of him. Javier, fantastic tonight. Only one base runner allowed. He retired pretty much everyone he faced. That was fantastic out of him. Offensively, Altuve had the home run, but that was it. It seems like a theme right now is Altuve will have one big hit to get a couple of RBIs, but that be it. But again, I'm not going to complain about a home run. Uh, Correa continues to be one of the hottest guys in baseball. Another pair of hits tonight, pair of, a pair of runs. Fantastic from him. He also had a walk. Uh, Bregman was also outstanding tonight. A walk, three hits, a home run, a double for an RBI. Magnificent from Bregman tonight. He had a run as well. Jordan had a two for four night, which is pretty darn good. Not going to complain much about that. Yuli had a two-hit night on his birthday. Again, happy birthday to Yuli Gurriel. Uh, Brantley had a three-hit night in his return, which is fantastic to see. Tucker had a pair of hits. Straw actually had a pair of hits. Sadly, Stubb went 0 for 5. That breaks my heart. But again, the Astros actually did pretty darn good tonight. Five over nine with runners in scoring position, which I am not going to complain about ever. Uh, If you're above 500 batting average with runners in scoring position, I'm good. I'm good. Right, I'm happy with that. And that was actually it for the game. A really good win. We continue to win whenever the A's do, so we're not gaining any ground. Like, if they didn't have sort of an easy-ish schedule and we just keep winning and losing on the same days, we'd be gaining ground. But I think we're still a game back, which is a bit of a bummer. Yeah, still a game back from Oakland because they won today like 4 nothing over Angels, I think. I could be wrong. But that was it for today's game for the Astros. We play again tomorrow at 7-10 Eastern, uh, 6-10 Central. We will have Granky on the mound, so hopefully he can get a win and keep this rolling, get a sweep against Boston. That'd be fantastic. And that's all I have to say for tonight. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, go Strohs.